I'm so excited. <laughs> PeachTools.com. G'day guys, how are we all going today? Hey, I brought myself a bit of kit lately. I brought myself a, a load tester and a voltage meter. And I've also brought myself one of these flash looking battery chargers, 12 and 6 volt battery charger. And apparently it's got a repair function on it that it can get all the sulfurization or whatever the hell you call it. You know, when your battery gets gunked up with crystals, apparently this battery charger can fix the problem. So I thought to myself, I thought to myself, let's give it a go, see if it works. I've got my own opinion, but let's give it a go and see what happens. Same as usual guys, if you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below. And let's see what this battery looks like. I don't know if you know it or not guys, but I run a dumpster company and I get like heaps and heaps and heaps of these batteries. It's winter time here at the moment, so I'm probably getting four or five, six, maybe even six or seven a week of these sort of batteries. This is actually one of my old batteries, but I've got a whole lot of them on a pallet out the front of my workshop there. So I thought to myself, I thought to myself, if I could fix one of my old truck batteries, I might start going through the pallet and see if I can actually fix some other ones as well. Now this battery is still reading about 12 volts. Actually, you can see it, it's 13 volts there, guys. And you might say to yourself, well, that's 13 volts. Well, that's a good battery. But if we put it under a load test like this, which simulates the starter motor of your truck or your car starting, cranking it over, watch what happens, guys. Woohoo! She just drops like a rock. See, and then we're about 12 and a half volt here again. So my theory is, <laughs> If we try my new battery charger, they reckon this can repair that battery. So first what we'll do guys is I'll take the bungs out of the top of the battery and we'll make sure that the plates are reasonably sort of straight because there's not much point even trying to fix it if the plates are all bent and buckled because it just ends up shorting out. As you can see they're reasonably looking straight looking for an old battery. So all we're going to have to do my friends is hook up the leads from the charger plug it in and then we should be able to regenerate this battery and get it up and running again like new here we go here we go guys 12.6 volts so we'll plug it in and see what happens we're charging here so we'll hit the repair button here so now it's telling us it's repairing it so we'll leave that for 24 hours see what it actually does yeehaw so guys i've waited my 24 hours i was full of excitement coming into the shed this morning i thought right we're gonna have a beautiful good battery again so let's have a look at this so it's telling us it's full it's been repaired see look at that the repair button has gone so what do you reckon guys this should test up perfect again shouldn't it anyway we'll make sure that it has actually been charging first we'll just make sure that the thing is bubbling so we'll see if we can see any bubbles in here. Can you see it bubbling? I sure don't know if it's bubbling or not, guys. There's yeah, some movement down there. Yep, there we go. She's bubbling. Hee hee! Right, so we'll get rid of him. I'm so excited. <laughs> get my tester, and we'll see what's happened. I was thinking guys if this actually works then uh, I've got a whole lot of batteries that I could be um, fixing up. Look at that guys, remember yesterday we had about just over 12 volt, now we're at 14 volts so it's obviously done something. But the big test is going to come when I put it under load. Here we go. Well that's not much better guys, it's not even holding into the wick. And the voltage has dropped already so let's try that again guys. No, we're bad, 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 bad Leroy Brown. Well, that's about as much use as a chocolate fire guard, really, isn't it, guys? Well, my friends, I think that was a bit of a waste of time, really. So that just goes to show you that when they tell you that these battery chargers can repair your battery, <coughs> well, I think it is anyway. I have seen online some other ways to do it, and I'm not finished yet. What I'm going to do in the next video, guys, is I'm going to take the top off this battery. I'm going to try and manually clean out between the plates. And then we're going to put some fluid back into it. And then I'm going to see if I can charge it again. See what happens. Anyway, guys, there goes my theory of making a lot of money with all my used car batteries. Hee <laughs> hee. Anyway, 
Same as usual, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Hey, come say in the comments below if you've got a better way of fixing old batteries. And if you want to watch another couple of videos of mine about welding or plasma cutting or stuff like that, check up either side there. I can put a couple of videos up there you can have a sneak look at. Anyway, guys, see you later. Bye. Pete's Tools.com.